one this tutorial is about uh, the advanced usage of postman so I believe all of us uh, see the importance of postman because it is the perfect client to test out any web API right so uh, in our CDEF and DBEF right uh, the strategy should be using the web using postman to test out all the web API functionality that you have developed before trying out in your web client so that should be the right strategy so that uh, we isolate uh, so so that we can easily troubleshoot and isolate the problems all right so this is about advanced usage of uh, postman so let me give you <coughs> the scenario so okay so login right so we know in web api the login is always uh, getting a token from the web api so here we are doing a login all right okay and we are we receive a token all right so the cumbersome thing is that uh, this token is needed okay it's needed for other web api call that is protected all right so that's that is the whole thing about uh, securing your web api so that those endpoint that is deemed important or crucial you protect them with a necessary token so the troublesome thing is that this token right we need to copy right so we need to copy and let's say we are we are in the update then we need to uh, replace the token okay and for different user a different token and also to make things worse right uh, for most web API the token has a time expiry so the shorter the time uh, in fact I think it is uh, your application become more secure okay because that means that after for example if the time expiry duration is 10 minutes so that means that the web client after 10 minutes the user have no choice but to do a login again okay so that to get a fresh token okay so I'm going to show you uh, how to <coughs> how to be more productive in postman all right so you can see here environment okay so what we need to do is we want to uh, create one environment okay so let's add environment so let's call this uh, cdev environment okay and over here uh, we can put variables okay for example let's say I use I put the variable called username so initial value to be John okay all right and then I add all right okay and now I have so now I'm inside this environment okay so I can use my variable now okay I don't have to hard code things so for example I can now replace this one with username all right so what happened is that when postman sees this double brace postman knows that uh, you are in a particular environment and there's there are some environment variables already set for you so it is going to replace this variable with the value all right so now if I do a uh, uh, let me go to login all right so let me try with okay so I send okay I should be okay so there are some errors all right so uh, yeah so the typo was that I must include the the usual quotation right so this one will be replaced by the environment variable okay so when I click send I will get back the token so uh, yeah so this is very useful right so so next time you can have variables all over your place and then when you want to change the value you don't have to change it in the body you can straight away uh, click on okay click on here and you can change the value for example now uh, I change the value to Mary okay Mary all right so now here will be Mary and therefore uh, I I will not be able to log in right because now this has been replaced by Mary all right so uh, make make use of your 
environment variable so you can also have your variable here okay all right you can also have your variable here as well okay so let me show you another one uh, that is pertaining to logging in all right logging in so uh, okay so password is okay let me change the let me set a password okay and then uh, I'm supposed to go to the environment and I'm supposed to add another variable okay so password and the initial John all right and yeah okay so initial will be John okay update okay John John so I should be able to log in all right so let me see what is wrong here cannot post login oh, yeah okay so yeah okay the endpoint is log login okay so I can update all right so uh, coming back to our uh, to the scenario regarding the token right so uh, what we can do now is that let's say for okay for this one let's say I copy this particular token I go to uh, get the member right get the member and then uh, right so getting the member require a token okay just a token all right and the yeah the token string and uh, the endpoint is user all right so I have an endpoint that uh, give that we pass a token to the endpoint and the endpoint is supposed to return us the information about the user all right so it's something like that so I'm going to uh, send all right so I'm getting back the user John right all right so this is the cumbersome part which we have to uh, you know copy and paste the token and if you are doing something more complicated with the token having a time expiry and that means this token will always change all right so we are going to do something uh, the advanced usage of variables all right so so what we can do now is that uh, we want to put a variable here <coughs> token all right Okay, token so we come back to the environment all right and we want to create another variable called token okay and then yeah so no value update okay so now this is going to be uh, invalid token right because this one has no value okay so now what we want to do is when we log in after we get a token we want to write some script all right we want to write some script so that uh, postman will take this result to become the current value for the token variable all right so uh, so what we can do now is that uh, we will we will go to test all right Okay, and then we can type in this script var data equals to json dot pass. Okay, by the way, uh, this is still in JavaScript. Respond body. Okay, so uh, uh, what it means is that whatever result that comes back, okay, they are in the JSON format, but in string format. So we are converting them to become a JSON object. So we store inside here, and then uh, postman pm dot environment dot set. Okay, and we already have a variable called token, right? Token, comma data dot token. Okay. All right. So, so that's the idea so if you take a look now uh, there isn't any value for our token okay but after we have this two-liner JavaScript okay and now when we 
uh, do a sense right we will get back the token and if we look at the variable uh, okay this value this variable should change to reflect the token okay but uh, something is not right okay let me see what is Ah, okay so it's not data dot token because this is result okay so my bad so this is result all right so let's send again okay getting the token let's look at the token right yeah okay so now the the token value has been updated so now if we go back to get the member because we are using a variable we don't have to cut and paste the token anymore right so we can basically just send when we click send, Postman will replace this one with the variable value which is here, okay, which is already here. So when I send, okay, it's a legitimate token, so you will get back this value. Alright, yeah, so I hope this will help you to be uh, more efficient, then you can spend uh, your time wisely in developing more features for your project. Okay, thank you for tuning in.